and moving on so the next thing we need to do is draw the rear body so what we are going to do is click on this back face um, sketch and select this face again and convert entities see this is the reason why I really like this exercise because you are working with almost pretty much everything you'll be using in SOLIDWORKS on a day-to-day -day basis so now we're using convert entities so you select this face and convert entity that gives you your sketch profile and you're just going to extrude it six so feature extrude um, six and and click OK so we have that and the next thing we need to do is draw this little circle thing oh no before we draw the circle we need to draw the back one too so um, go on your right plane um, sketch just gonna go normal to again I'll move it to this side so you can see it and we just want to draw a feet a profile like that you can see the line is coming from this um, at the end of this fillet and that's what we're going to do draw a profile something going up something like this and something like that so I'm just going to select this line and this arc and pierce them and again I'll go normal to move it over here so we have some uh, we have uh, something like this and the dimension here is 2.5 um the dimension here is 1.5 and the dimension from let me zoom in so i can see what's going on the dimension on uh, 1.5 okay and, the, and i'm just gonna move this over here uh the the angle dimension from here to here is 120 120 degrees and the distance from this point to that point is 4.5 uh, so now we have a fully defined sketch so just draw a line down here make sure your sketch is closed and now I have an extra line over there I'm just gonna delete that and go to your feature extrude um, by the mid plane and you want to extrude it um, that we don't really have the dimension but uh, the, the, the distance will be the same as um, this profile so it's going to be 0.6 so you're going to extrude it 0.6 uh, from the mid plane it is this distance and I'm just going to go back down and click OK good so we have that profile and the next thing we need to do now is draw the hole so uh, click on your right plane and the, the, the instructor actually has the hole maybe we should do the same thing he did so uh, no let's click on the right plane um no let's do what he did because if someone was following this i won't want you to do something else and get a different grade so click on this face and sketch so i'm just going to draw a circle on it um, the circle is from the origin point to the center of that circle is 4 and the distance of the instructor the instructor doesn't really give that so uh, I'm just going to select from this point to the origin point and let's make it like um, point, point 0.2 no point two, so um, I'm gonna delete that for now and I'm just gonna kind of like move it up and gauge it because it doesn't really give you the size of that hole so the size let's um, move this down a little bit um, to something like that that looks reasonable and that is 0.6 so and let's make um, this it's probably gonna be 0.62 so let's make that 0.62 so make the whole size 0.6 and the the whole this diameter 0.6 and this is 0.6 so go to feature extrude cut and we are going to do through all no up to next 
and click OK. So we have that now. So all we need to do again is go into this linear pattern. I love this exercise because it's just covering everything you need to know. So once you have all this kind of feature down, then you're pretty much good to go. So we're going to select um, for the direction. We're going to select just any line over here. So I'll select this line and the distance of those is 0.1. So make sure you have um, one in here, not 0.11, the distance is one. And the number of hole you need is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in here, you're going to type eight. And, and now the feature, I'll just, I can just select the, the extrude card hole. And as you can see, we have it eight times over here. So now I'll come down to instance to skip. And you are, you see, we have three holes. So I have one, two, three. The fourth one is skipped and one, two, and the third one after that is skipped and once you have those once you select make sure that is an like an orange dot that means those will be hidden and click ok and there you go we have that feature and the next thing we need to do is draw this um, circle um, so again click on this face uh, sketch um, draw a circle over here the distance from the center to the bottom is 3.85 and the diameter for this circle is um, 0.2 and, and the distance from the origin point to this circle is 13.2. Um, so that is fully defined. I'm just going to, um, so we need to figure out how far we need to extrude it out. Um, so I'll go, maybe I'll go back to the top where um, the instructor has that. Oh no, uh, I can come down. I think the profile is somewhere down here. So moving on to the next one, it is over here and it, it, it is extrude from the center out is one hmm. so you know what we can do i'm going to exit so i'll show you another thing to do if you we need to change the plane of this sketch so right click on this plane this sketch select ed edit sketch plane and let's select the right plane so we're going to change the plane of that sketch to the right plane so now it will make it easier for us to extrude. So we're just going to go to feature, extrude um, this sketch. And we are going to extrude it one and click OK. Because see, it's one from the right plane. Click OK. Good. So now we have that feature done. I'm going to go number two. And moving down, we need to make this feature. So we need to make this little, um, I'm not sure what that's called, the red propeller. So again, click on this face, uh, sketch. Um, so just come over here and start to draw a line. Again, hover over this um, circle and you should get the center point of it. So start your line from that center point of that circle. And I'm going to move this to the side and draw, uh, just draw like a profile like this, something like this. So something like that. And now we're just going to start adding our dimension. So we know from the bottom of the origin point to here, from the origin point to there is 3.85. Mm. Uh, no, not 3.85. So let's delete that one because it's the same thing. So let, it's not 3.85. So what we need to do is um, this from this line to this line is 1.5. So we can just move this up because that needs to be bigger than that. So we need to add a dimension here. This line, um, this line is um, 1.12. 
point one two and from this line to this line is point three and from this this line to this point is point two five and this line is um, point one two so now we have a fully defined sketch so let me move it zoom in so you should have something like this so go to your feature um, extrude you want to extrude it in the opposite direction and the distance is 0.1 right here so 0.1 and click OK so um, you see how this is um, margin together so let's exit um, ex um, not exit but edit that, that profile that feature so when we extrude it what we want to do is select uncheck this merge result so that way it makes this a different entity from the rest so it doesn't make everything one piece so now if I select this this is just a own feature by itself and that is how it is made over here so now what we need to do is go to um, again um, circular pattern and again I will show temporary axis and for the perimeter I'll just select the um, perimeter over here I'll select the temporary axis so we want to pattern it four times and equal spacing and now for the feature you won't select the feature come down to the body um, so come down to the body and you select in the body you want to select this body and if you select the feature it's not going to work because this is its own body so you make sure you select the body and click OK so now we have that red propeller and now I'm going to hide my temporary axis because I don't need it good so now moving moving down so we have this done so now the next thing we need to do is draw this profile on um, this um, what is it called the cockpit so we come to the front select this face sketch normal two and I'm just going to select that face again and convert entity so to convert the, that profile as a sketch and I'm going to exit out and now and I'm going to now offset a plane forward three so feature reference geometry plane um, so I want to offset a plane from we can offset it from the front plane or this face is the same thing and it's going to be three and now on that plane four on uh, sketch um, number two so I'm gonna move it to the side so you want to use this slot feature and just draw something like this a center and I can just draw something like that then I'll draw a line from this point to that point to the midpoint of that slot and I can just make that line a vertical line to center it so I'll make that line a construction line and the next thing we need to do is just add our dimension and it is um, so it is uh, from the from the center point to the bottom of this profile is 2 and the distance for this line is 0.75 is right here and the radius for this arc is 0.96 so we have that profile we're just going to exit and it is done so the next thing we need to do is go and I'm just going to hide this plane I don't need it so the next thing we are going to do so we have um, the next thing we are going to do is go on the right plane and sketch and number two so we are going to just draw a line somewhere over here so we can start at the origin point actually and just draw a horizontal line going out and make sure it is horizontal and you can make it uh, 
this line and this point um, coincident and now number two just and make this a construction line so now draw a, a line somewhere like this and click this point and that line and pierce it and now we can go normal to again and the, this, the angle is 45 so make that 45 and now we want to draw um, a three point arc something like this select that arc and that line make it tangent and select this point and that that line and you can pierce it or you can select the middle point it's the same thing so now everything is touching i'll just trim um, the excess part out and the radius for that arc is um, 2.5 So that sketch is fully defined. I'm gonna exit out of it and the right plane again, sketch. And I'm just going to draw a line, something like this. Then now I'm going to select that point and that bottom arc, pierce it. This point and this bottom line and pierce it. And we have a fully defined sketch. Exit out. Again, we're going to go to feature, loft, and and love this sketch in the profile you make sure you're in the profile love this sketch into that sketch then the guy curve you want to select the bottom one and the top one and click ok and